Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Nigerians react massively as the legend was Sue and Yudin Marshall confirms taking a new wife. As the Daily reported, Juice Lovers reported that Guamuan secretly took another wife and her name is Emanuela. She's an events planner. And according to the popular blogger on Instagram, Guamuan dumped his numerous Lagos big girls and some European stars who are allegedly in a romantic relationship with him. This news came after the Canada-based businessman and show promoter Bolaji Sahid Basia sparked several reactions with photos of the Fuji musician alongside the mystery woman. Meanwhile, it was in 2018 that this Fuji legend pulled a surprise on his family and friends when he wedded his longtime partner Fethi Okoyemi. That event held at his Ojusha Bola Castle in Ijebode part of Ogun State. And registrars of Mikoyu Registry coordinated the legalization of the affair with exchange of rings and signatures. And this Fuji musician tied the knot on his 61st birthday. He also confirmed the development on his Instagram page. And his very first wife that he got married in 2018, her name is Titi. She runs an upscale fabric store in Surulere part of Lagos State. She and Kwamwan had three kids already before they finally made their relationship official. Titi welcomed Kwamwan's 38th child in the years in the year 2013. And even though Kwamwan is a self-confessed polygamist, he did not and he has not gotten married to all the women in his life. And Titi seemed to be the only one he married legally in the year 2018. Titi is also known as Fetia Okbayemi. And this year 2021, just a week ago, there were rumors everywhere that he already took another wife. And reactions through this wedding news, as many people called him out for not making it a public matter. And another short clip was shared on social media where he was alleged to have denied taking a new wife. And now K1, the ultimate, has fully confirmed this with his full chest. By sharing the photos of this his new wife on his own official social media platform. And even when trying to praise his new wife, Emanuela Ropu, it's a heartwarming caption. Well, congratulations to the couple, Kwamwan and Emanuela. Some Nigerians are reacting to this and they're even commenting that he previously promised Titi that he was not going to take another woman as his wife. Whilst many people are also congratulating the Maigo of Yoruba land, and commenting on his wife's beauty. If you want to know more about this Fuji legend, Kwamon, please stay with us. His full name is Wasu Omogbolan Olasukomi Adiwale Ayide Marshall, who was one of March Toad in 1957. He has several nicknames, including Igijagade, King of Fuji Music, or Bowery, King Wasu Ayide Marshall, Kwamon, K1 The Ultimate. He's currently 64 years old. He was born in Agarawu, part of Lagos State, even though originally he's from Ijebuode, part of Ogun State. He's a singer and he's a performer. He has been active in the entertainment industry since the year 98. He popularized the brand of Fuji genre based on the work of the Fuji creator and the barista known as Talazo Fuji that appeals to all age groups, irrespective of tribe and background. The king of Fuji music discovered his interest in music when he was only 8 years old. His parents initially opposed his decision, but he continued to pursue his passion. At the time he was 15 years old, he had already won various local musical competitions. He later became a member of an Indian barrister's band, the Supreme Fuji Commanders, from 1975 to 1978. After previously serving under him as instrument packer, he also adopted the name of Ainde into his name after seeking the permission and blessing of his master, Ainde Barrister. He released his first album titled Iba with a special track about the maker in 1980 and thereafter, his most successful album, Talazo 84 in 1984. He has won many titles and several music awards. K1 The Ultimate began his global tour between North America and Europe in the year 1986 and performed at Hammersmith Town Hall in 1987. That was followed by New York City, United States with full Talazo band on September 28, 1990, London, UP 1 and 2, 1991-1992. Rio Banjo 1995, Berlin 1997, North America, US and Canada 1998, Canada 2000, USA 2003. He has continued non stop touring annually since then. In 1995, he delivered the first Fuji, and in the year 1995, he delivered the very first Fuji performance ever at Walmart Festival. He's also the only Fuji musician to perform at certain places. He has several chief chancy titles and awards. He's known as the Ekeri Amuludu of Ibadan Land. 
Is honored with this title in the United 86, also Golden Mercury of Africa title in 1986. He was crowned as King of Fuji, Uluaye Fuji Music, at NT Ibadan in 1993. The Uluam of Lagos by King Adi Inka of Lagos in 1999. On Monday, January 13th in 2020, was installed by the Allah Afin of Oyo, Obala Media DME, as the first Mayuko of Yubaland. These are some of his chieftains titles. Some of his popular works include Iba, Sioro, Igbalaye, Talazo System, Talazo 84, Ishelo Gwenshe, Ijul Olomo, Talazo Disco 85, Alaji Chief Wasio, Yudibarist, and his Talazo Fuji Commander Organization, Lori Kimeta, Eloshara Pompo City, Ori, Tiwa Dayo, Eringoke, Babaje Kaju, Aye, Ajiu Awulowo, Sunsplash, Fuji Headline, My Dear Mother, Fuji Rapping, Achievements, Joe Fumi, American Tips, Fuji Collections, The Ultimate, Consolidation, Reflection, Talazo Fuji Party Music, Compact Disc, Legacy, Phase 2, History, Fuji Fusion, New Era, Phase 3, Message, Statement, New Lagos, Guard, Big Deal, Flavor, Tribute to My Mentor, Instinct, Fuji Time. Just to mention a few of them. In the year 2013, he won the Hedy's Hall of Fame Award. In 2014, he won the City People Lifetime Achievement Award. While his father is from Mijabu Odenugun State, his mother is from Ilupeju in Ondo State. On his journey to fame, it was in the year 1979 that he released his first solo album titled Abodimeka. In 1987, his most successful album, Talazo 84, was released. During the whole Kwan one solo career, this album became an instant hit, introducing a new turbo chain style of music that became widely popular as the Talazo system. So far, he has recorded over 50 Fuji music albums, including some international releases. He is known to combine Juju, Akpala, Yoruba Blues and other styles and genres. He has been able to incorporate some western instruments including keyboards, saxophone and electric guitar. And this renowned artist has expanded his music vocabulary to include rock, funk and hip-hop influences. Compared to the beginning of his career that he basically sang Quranic chants and rhymes. So this is a little bit about Kwam One, Asu Aide Mashal. We come to the end of this episode when Nigerians react as Wasu Aide Mashal confirms taking a new wife. We hope you enjoyed this episode and link to the two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.